is 3.22 a.m. and I am at the hotel waiting for my shuttle to go to the airport and I'm on my way to Kinucopia. This is what a $25 breakfast looks like at the Toronto airport. It had been a while since I've been on a plane, but I was pretty excited. I was also exhausted. Last minute plans caused me to not get a lot of sleep before leaving. I tried to close my eyes as much as possible on the flight, but how can you when you get views like this? Welcome. Welcome to Minneapolis where the local time is 7.53. Please stay seated until the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. The plan was to fly from Toronto Airport to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes, the home of Prince. And then take another flight from Minnesota to Madison, Wisconsin. Welcome to Madison, Wisconsin, home of the world's largest paddling expo, Canucopia. It's 1.30 on Thursday, March 7th, and I have made it to the hotel. Uh, the shuttle driver was kind enough to stop at Walgreens for me because I really needed some hairspray. I couldn't uh, bring it with me, um, so he did that, and I managed to get a couple of drinks too, which I haven't had there in my room, but um, anyways, I went to my room, I got all settled, I came back down, I got my package, and uh, now I'm at the pool. There's a pool here, and over in the corner there is a hot tub. So I'm gonna go for a little swim. I just put my hair up because I didn't want to get it wet and then have to do it again. I'll do it in the morning before the show. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit here and lounge a bit and enjoy myself, and then maybe go upstairs and have a little nap. and I'm actually here at Canucopia. Um, my hotel, the Clarion where I'm staying, has like a tunnel hallway thing where you can kind of come out here at the show. So um, my stomach is not good. I'm not sure what happened, but um, it's not good. So um, it took me a couple hours to leave my room. I had a nap, which helped a lot because I wasn't feeling great and I'm still not feeling good. Um, but I just kind of wanted to come and go for a little walk and check things out. I ran into Svensson and they gave me some prizes for my presentation, so I'm super stoked. Um, I'm also coming to Jet Boil to pick up some stuff tomorrow, but nobody's here now. Um, so I'm just going to kind of sneak back out of here and go back up to my room. Well, good morning. It is 10 o'clock on Friday, March 8th. Happy International Women's Day. This will post way later, but I did put a post up this morning. Um, it's a little gloomy here in Madison, uh, raining and uh, a little cool. I'm just heading out for a little bit with my new friend Crystal uh, from Minnanaqua Tourism. And uh, she's going to take me around and show me a few spots here in Wisconsin uh, that I might want to see. And uh, we're going to go get some food. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm just walking around with Crystal. We went for brunch and here is the room that I'm going to be presenting in tomorrow. At 1.30, it's massive. Hope I can fill it. All right, it's 2.45. Uh, I've just been to the Quetico room and the bear room. Uh, I've got my presentation working on Kevin Catlin's laptop. Thank you, Kevin, for letting me use this. And the video is working, the sound is good, and everything's working. So I am going to uh, do a little tour here of Canucopia before the doors open. So let's go. So here's the area where all the presentation rooms are off of. Here's Kevin Cowan. Oh, oh, there you go. Woo! We're just uh, talking about her. Speak, speaking to somebody. I, I, I know you. YouTubers. How's it going? Good. All right, let's try this again. We ran into uh, Scott from Paddling Magazine and Kevin Cowan, and then I talked to Ken, who's a fan, and Paul Chambers, who's been following me for years. 
and uh, so far this has been a really great experience. I was worried people weren't going to know who I was here. Uh, we've got some booths out here. We just let the public into the front area, but not into the show yet. The doors open at 3, and uh, this is like the lobby area. Lots of cool booths out here. Ice cream, fruit smoothies. United States Coast Guard here. I really should have taken this before they let the people in, but I just ran out of time, honestly. Very state the newest. Take a right turn here and go into the show so that I can do a bit of filming before they let the people in. All right, crazy town, here we go. Lots of people waiting already to get in. Hi, Aquabound. Look at these cool paddles from Aquabound, amazing. I have a feeling this might be, oh, this is Kate. Hi. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Thought you might be Luann. <laughs> All righty. Um, through here, level six, the Old Town Canoes. watching you. Oh, thank you. Who are you? I'm Kim. Hi, Kim. Welcome to Canucopia. Thank you. Oh, it seems that a few people here know who I am, which is really great. Makes me feel amazing. And uh, there's Ken Whiting. He's a Aquabound um, ambassador. And he's also presenting. Just met him in one of the rooms. Let's go for a walk quickly before uh, it gets too crazy. Mustang Survival. These guys are famous for safety on the water and that is something that I feel very strongly about. So just want to get a little boo of their booth here. Hi guys. Thank you for promoting safety on the water. It's something that's very important to me. All right over here is our awesome Minakwa, and you are right across from where I'm hanging out. Oh, I just really? met this lovely lady in the presentation room. And you are Canoe the North, right? Yes, Canoe and North Adventures. And what do you Adventures. do? We do canoe trips in the Northwest Territories in That's Canada. That's awesome, with her German accent. <laughs> Yay. So, oh, and there's our lovely flag, oh, Canada. Yeah. All right, and over here, we have my new friend. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Crystal? We're hanging in there. Show's about to start. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> exciting. Yep. Okay, well, I got my uh, laptop all set up here. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to leave this here with we you go. for a okay. second. And I also got my Keep magazine. Oh yeah, fresh clean I'm one. I'm just going to try to film a bit before they let the... There's tons of people out there. <laughs> I'm trying to make the selfie at 3 o'clock, so I need to hurry back. But here's Nick's booth from Now Outdoors. We've got Bear Vaults. Kiefer, Northern Lakes Canoe Base, Explore Northwest Florida, all kinds of cool booths here at Canoe Copia. There's a whole section in here. Everything here is paddling related, camping related. It's pretty awesome. Oh, Mustache Man hey. from last weekend. How <laughs> are you? Christina, how are you? Good I'm to good. See how are you doing? Good to see you. I'm filming, so. Excellent. All right. Just want to do a quick boo around before the people come in, but they're all out there waiting. That sounds good. Trailtopia Adventure Food. Looks yummy. NRS. A lot of stuff on sale here. Probably some great deals going on. Yeah. 
eye suits. Hammocks. Look at these paddles. Well, it's 303. I missed the photo. I'm kind of bummed. I was talking to Sasha at Werner Paddles and I missed the photo. So, oh well. All right, let's continue on with our tour before it gets too crazy in here. All right, I'm alone over here. I actually have a Malone Yakima combo on my car. Uh, I have this right here. And I use that for my kayak, and it's fantastic. All right, back at Werner, which is where I just left off. And over here we have Swift. Doing their thing. Here's my Lovely friends, Badger Paddles, Mike over there. And I am absolutely loving, loving this beautiful paddle right here. I'm assuming my friend Fiona painted it. It's absolutely stunning, but it is backwards. Let me just help Mike out here. There we go, because we gotta have that badger. Delta Kayaks, also my people. I have a Delta 15S that I paddle and I absolutely love it. I don't paddle it often, but I do love it. Jackson Kayaks. Winona Canoe. Over here we've got North Star. Solo canoe splash covers. Eddie Line. Anchor. Boundary Waters Canoe Trips in Quetico. Superior Gear was talking to these guys earlier. Evolved Supply Company. Watch down here. Down here are my friends from Paddle and Portage. Get for Christina! <laughs> awesome. They gave me a really warm welcome earlier today. These guys do the uh, winter camping symposium. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, and you? Good. Boundary Waters Journal. It's just endless. So many booths, so many awesome people. Look at these paddles. Stunning. Friends of the Boundary Waters. Wisconsin Historical Society. These people sell H2O canoes, if I'm not mistaken. Hi. Stickers. Oh my gosh, so many things. All right, the doors are open and it is crazy in here. I am heading to the BWCA room to check out Johnny and Colleen Kuehl. Cool quest and their presentation. So uh, let's go see what's going on. All right, here we go. Colleen and Johnny Cool, backcountry couples. And there, there are the people themselves. You missed me. Me? Hi. 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 Johnny. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. How are you? So good. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, I like it. 
So this is a uh, Blue Water Overland uh, camper um, designed by my buddy, that's his company, and this is called the Sapir 2.0. So it is a five by ten uh, with both of us, and like John was saying, he's like three, four. There's a three pound difference in our weight that we carry, and yep. not only this is just for backpacking, but we took on our first canoe trip, we took the MSR tent, but then we're like, why don't we bring all the ultralight gear when we go pack? Like that totally makes sense, right? So we're mm -hmm. gonna take all of our ultralight gear. So one, it's now it's not packing as much lighter for the portage for one, and um, it's just. It's awesome. So we share the gear, we spread out the weight, but how do you like shave the weight? Team members with this. Jack Line panel, light is better outside. Put them all on there, and then what you do is you uh, uh, basically flip the uh, token over, then you know where all the points are at that point, but not before. You're given a map reference card, which is this, and then you have to find that map reference in the beginning of the game, and that becomes your camping site. And that's where you start the game from. From there, it's one way, and you have to go around the board wherever you choose to collect points. And you choose your own routes. <coughs> and uh, there are other people playing, so you can only go one way, and if you meet somebody, you get it. All right, well, right, Colleen's doing a shot over here. Look at her. Yeah, I'm doing a shot. <laughs> what you got? I got um, Good Energy Embark Maple Energy, it's called. This is uh, with sea salt. Maple Energy. Oh. What? Good. Oh, yeah. This is good. Or ice cream. That is or ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have some. This is delicious. A few days before Canucopia, the show organizer contacted me to see if I would do a presentation on the Friday evening because someone had an emergency and couldn't make it. I had a fairly good crowd considering most people weren't expecting me when they showed up. First presentation at Canucopia. I presented on portaging in the Canadian wilderness and you can find that presentation on my YouTube channel filmed at the Toronto Outdoor Adventure Show. The show closed at 8 p.m. on Friday and we all headed out for a late dinner and then to our rooms to get ready for the big day tomorrow. Sadly, this is the only picture I took. All right, it is nine o'clock on Saturday, March 9th. It's my birthday today. And uh, I'm just walking through the hallway from the Clarion into the show. I'm um, super excited today. It's going to be a great day. I'm heading off to uh, Svensaw to hang out there for a bit. And then I'm going to present at 1.30. And then uh, hang out at uh, the Bear Vault area. Uh, let's Manaqua and now outdoors for a little while. And uh, the show's only on until 6 today. And we're going to have some dinner. And I uh, get to listen to Jerry Vandiver after that. It's going to be a great day at Kinecopia. So I'm at Canucopia and I'm about to go on stage and present and in comes Colleen and Johnny Cool from Cool Quest and Dennis from Canoe Hound. Hi everybody. Guess what? I'm Colleen Peel and I'm from Backcountry Couples. This is my friend Christina, Camper Christina, and it's her birthday. Oh. Thanks so much, guys. That was really awesome. I really appreciate it. And says, hey, bartender. What, what's the deal with, uh, bartender looks at the bear and says, what's with the big paws? <laughs> Can I film it? 
Can you film it? No, nobody's filming here at all. <laughs> She's a YouTuber. <laughs> I just want you to see. Uh, Yay! Oh. <laughs> it's there. For anybody else who's concerned, we've also got Today's your birthday. Today's your birthday. Today's your birthday. Oh. That's awesome. Okay, so we're getting close, right? Yep. Professional over here. Hey, you good there? You good? Yeah. It's getting a little smoke here. Marty? What? <laughs> what little incident? All right. So what? What do you make? What do you make? So uh, we took that used to leave that bread cheese and we just seared it, um, and then we took the dried fruit that was. Take your time out there. They're not weekend warriors. <laughs> They don't go for one night. They go for multiple days. Because we have to wait for her to eat. Yeah. <laughs> it's her birthday, don't pick on her. Yeah. Well, that's right, it is her birthday. Happy birthday? Yes, happy birthday. Thank you. Don't have to sing. They already did that at my presentation. <laughs> don't. Okay, don't sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> The show closed on Saturday. A bunch of us headed for dinner and then we went back to the Clarion Hotel where we were entertained by Jerry, Caitlin, Amanda, and Beth. And it was an awesome night. Um, so I'm going to introduce everybody here in a minute for those that, that uh, don't know what we're up to. Uh, but um, uh, first of all, obviously, we do not have a sound system. So all you're going to hear is our natural projection better or for worse, and so that really means that you really do need to be quiet, and we appreciate that, because we, uh, we're respecting, these are all songwriters, every song you're going to hear tonight is an original song. No covers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> listening to such awesome music. I had a few more drinks with some great outdoors friends and we stayed up pretty late. Sunday morning after a time change and not getting nearly enough sleep, I met up with CW Gets, Maya and Carla with a K 
to check out a Q&A panel that was going on in the Quetico room. Okay, guys, last closing thoughts as we run down to two minutes here. Just a couple of words. Tell us just your closing thoughts and something you just want to say and make, make known. Closing statements. Come to my show right after this one. There you go. <laughs> No, but uh, what I would say is don't barricade yourself from nature when you get out there. Embrace it. It's there. It's not. Sunday went by way too fast, and before I knew it, I was at the last presentation of the show that I could attend before having to catch the shuttle to the airport. It was a sunny day. Somewhere over the rain fly, raindrops fall. While the music played on, I slowly exited the room and gave a quick little goodbye to my friends. I thought about all of the amazing people that I met this weekend and got to see for the first time, and tears started sliding down my cheeks. I got onto my shuttle and headed to the airport, so grateful to have gone to this awesome event. I had a great time presenting on Friday and Saturday. And I want to take a moment to say thank you to Darren Bush and all of the people who help make this event happen every year. I had a wonderful time at Canucopia 2024, and I hope to get back there again one day soon. Well, I was leaving on a jet plane, and I was on my way back from Madison, Wisconsin to Toronto. I had a slight layover in Michigan, and before I knew it, I was touching the ground back in Canada. I landed around 11 p.m. to some snow falling, but I was delighted when I came out of customs and saw these Muskoka chairs. I felt like they really welcomed me back home. Thanks so much for watching. Now that the spring shows are over, it's time to get out on some adventures. I cannot wait. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.